Welcome back, everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a GitHub project with Godot, uh, GitHub and Godot. So here, we're going to quickly create a new project just to show you that we can create something. So let's browse and put this in my desktop right here. I'll create a example YouTube project. Uh, the renderer doesn't matter. The version Git control we can say is Git. So we can say hit in control. Once this has created, what we'll do is we'll close this because we don't really need it right now. Here is our file right here. What we'll do is we'll open up GitHub. So do make sure this is my previous thing. Uh, do make sure you install this. Um, it's relatively easy to install. You just find it on their website and install it. Uh, we'll go to the top left where it says current repositories. Now you might not have anything yet and that's okay. Um, all you need to find is the add button. We will hit create new repository and I can say uh, Godot YouTube project. And it says this will be created with um, some spaces or some uh, instead of spaces, it'll add the thing. I forget what it's called. We can initialize with readme. Now what we'll do though, is we will find the project that I just made. So YouTube, where is it? Uh, example here, select project, we can create repository, we can publish publish repository. Now, generally, I actually did this backwards, but I'm going to show you what happened. So here we have created a new project inside of this project, right? So this example YouTube project was, uh, was our project, but now we want to move everything inside of this new project, we can just replace with file destination, head back to GitHub. And now we have our GitHub projects or Godot projects. We can say initialize or init and just commit to main, push to origin. And now if I head back to Godot and open up Godot, you'll see that the project is missing. However, mm -hmm. if I go back over here and pop this in like so, you will now see the project YouTube, right? So our Godot project still exists. Now what we can do is head to our uh, GitHub again, we can right click this guy, we can view on GitHub. And I'll just pop this in. And now we can see that I have some things. Now this is pretty much it. This is our Godot project on GitHub, right? This is how we upload something on GitHub. Now do keep in mind things are private. So it says a lock button here. So you can go to settings and scroll all the way down and change the repository uh, to public if you'd like. Um, I'm going to keep mine private for now, because I'm going to delete this GitHub anyways later. Now let's take a look at branches because branches are very useful. Branches are specifically made to generally work with other people. So how do we work with branches? Well, what we can do here is let's open up Godot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first create a new branch. To do this, I will go to, well, it looks like I need to update my GitHub, but here I'll go to the current branch where it says main. I'll click this and go to new branch. Now let's say, for example, I want to create a player movement system. I'll create this branch. Uh, we can publish it for now. It doesn't really matter. And let's go over to my uh, GitHub here. We'll open up the project. And I'm just going to quickly create a, a platform movement. So I'm just going to create a new TD scene, save this call main, add a character body 2D, collision shape, I'll add a script with a character basic movement. And I'll add an animated sprite or something. Or actually, maybe I'll just add the icon as the base. And I'll give it a collision shape. All right, it's not perfect, but it's something. Okay, so here we go. Here's our player thing. And I can even select current and play the game and you can see it falls. Cool. We have something. Now let's head back to our Godot project. And you can see here we've added some new things. It shows me what I've added, right? And what I've changed. Now here I can say player movement. I've made the player uh, move and fall or something. Right, so you can add a description and a name. So the name I think is required. The description is optional, but I do recommend you give it a description every time. Now we can commit to player movement and push origin. Now let's take a look at why this is useful. So let's head back to our project here. Now 
here we have an update right away. But if I reload, you can see here that I don't have any of those new files that I created, right? The, the GD right there, right? So here I don't have any of that. But the cool part is here it says player movement has 10 recent pushes 10 seconds ago. Now, the cool part about this is if I go compare and pull, um, we can compare and pull. So I can create a uh, pull request, right? It says it's going to check for merge automatically. And GitHub does do a decent job at um, automatically detecting any merge errors. However, I do recommend, you know, you look through the code if you're the one merging and, and just see if anything is wrong or not. All right, so at this point, we can immediately merge request pull or I can add a comment. We can say good work. This looks clean. And we can comment and you can see here on the top, it will put a comment on the top. So obviously this is me, but if this was someone else on my team working, this would show what they did, right? So it says I made a player movement, this is a comment. And then here I can add my own comment as maybe the person who's in charge uh, commenting on their work, right? So now we can merge pull request, we can confirm the merge. And now it says pull request successfully merged and closed. Now, if we go back to the code, we can see that we're in the main branch right here, but it now has the character body 2D and well, everything else I worked on. So that is pretty much it. Now, just to kind of show one more thing, uh, let's say I create another branch. We can create branch based on these two things. I can do a main, they're the same now because I just merged them. Um, I can publish this. And here we can say keep local and or discard, doesn't really matter. Let's add one more thing. We can add a animated sprite, it doesn't really make a difference. Now here we can see the character body 2D has some things, I suppose. Uh, and so we can initialize, commit to thing, push origin. And we'll see in our project here, we have an animated sprite. Now let's close this for now. And what I can do here is I can switch my branch to main. And you'll see that if I open up my Godot project again, go to example YouTube, you will see that the animated sprite is no longer there. Why? Because I'm on my main branch. So if I was to switch back to thing, it should actually prompt me to, uh, let's discard local and reload. And now we can see I have the animated sprite. So it updates in real time. All right, so this is a way to work with other people uh, online and just, you know, work on a single project together. So if you guys want a more specific video on um, the branches and stuff, because there's no visualization in this video, it does really help to have some sort of visualization. Uh, just let me know and I can try to make a more in-depth video on the branching and stuff like that, because there is quite a bit to it. Uh, but I kind of just went over a brief overview of how it works. So um, do like and subscribe if you guys would like to see that and let me know down in the comments below. All right, hopefully this helped and I will see you all in the future.